In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the new fully customizable navigation bars available in WebPlus X5. I'm working with the Yoga and Fitness Center site that I've developed from one of the WebPlus templates. At the top of the page, you'll see that we already have a basic navigation bar, which has been added to a master page that's assigned to each of our site pages. As well as making the navigation bar visible on multiple pages of the site, adding it to a master page also means that any changes made to the navigation bar are immediately reflected throughout the site. Let's change this navigation bar to a style that better suits this site. As you can see, when I hover over the navigation bar, it's highlighted. I can now click to select it, and then click the Edit on Master Page button. Any change we make will now affect all of the pages assigned to this master page. On the Context Toolbar, I click the Edit Navigation Bar button. This brings up the Navigation Bar Settings dialog. When I click the Type tab, all of the available types are displayed. If I click on a category, I get a preview of the available navigation bars in that category. If I click on the Navigation Bar heading, I'll see a preview of my current scheme. On the Navigation Type tab, the top level option is selected. This means that Navigation Bar will only display the top level pages of my site. This is exactly what I want, so I don't need to change this. I can customise my navigation bar further in the Appearance and Pop-up Menus tab. We don't have time to go into this in detail, but you'll find all of the information you need in the WebPlus Help. To preview my bar on my current background, I can change the preview background colour. When I'm finished, I just click OK to accept the settings. Now that my navigation bar has been replaced, I just need to readjust it into position on my master page, and then I can return to my home page to see how it looks. Let's preview the site in a web browser to see this navigation bar in action. Let's have a look at the child page of the facilities page. Notice that these have a blank area to the left, which is filled with a gradient. During the development of my site, I also created a new master page, master page C. This is assigned in addition to master page A to all of these child pages so that I can add a new style of navigation bar. Let's open Master Page C and add this navigation bar. You can add a navigation bar in several ways. We're going to use the Quick Builder. Simply open the Quick Builder bar and drag the navigation bar icon onto your page. When you let go, the navigation bar settings dialog opens. This time, I'll choose a vertical type from the highlight category. On the Navigation Type tab, I'll choose Same Level as I only want to display the child pages in this particular navigation bar. On the Appearance tab, I'll just preview this new navigation bar against my background. OK, that looks really good. I'll leave it at that. Now that navigation bar is added to the page, you'll see that it has a green exclamation mark. This means that the bounding box isn't big enough to fit the entire bar in it. What you need to do is to resize the bounding box like I'm doing now. Now that the bar's in place, I'll go back to the child pages to see how it looks. As you can see, I've also applied this master page to my facilities page. Because the navigation bar is set to display same level, it's now displaying the wrong pages. Instead of displaying the child pages, it's actually displaying the top level pages. So, how do we change this without affecting the other pages? The answer is to use Promote from Master Page. This creates a copy of my navigation bar, so that we can change the settings for this one instance only. With my navigation bar selected, I click Edit Navigation Bar, and choose Child Level as the navigation type. If I now preview my site, I can see that my navigation bar now works exactly as expected. That's all for this tutorial. Don't forget that WebPlus provides many different types of navigation bars, including sitemaps. These you can find in the JavaScript category. For step-by-step -step instructions on adding navigation bars, take a look at the online tutorial. You can also find extra information in WebPlus Help. Thanks for watching.